in the great scheme of things about God, humans, heaven, hell and all that. There is a place and purpose for everyone in human history. In that light, I would like to say a few words about Zeus and Hermes before we see how they showed up in the Bible. Now, the flood of Noah occurred around 3300 BC. Zeus was born of Ham and Rhea, which was around 3000 BC. I say this because according to historian Barossus Ham and Rhea gave birth to his younger sister Isis 302 years after the flood this was the time of rebellion against Yahweh God and when paganism came into being Zeus was the Mizraim of the Bible Nimrod who started building the tower of Babel was his older brother Cush's son we know that the confusion of tongues and scattering of the people took place at this time this is when the fallen entities from the oceans taught humans new languages and other skills in order to win them over and enslave them when a start sumerians their language agastya taught both sanskrit and tamil to indians Allah taught Arabic to the Arabians and Hermes taught Greek language to the Greeks that would make Hermes another fallen entity from Lucifer's kingdom these fallen entities being void of life in them craved for blood because life is found in the blood of God's creatures however they don't have the right to touch any of them So the arrangement was made that humans are to worship and offer blood sacrifices to them in return for their favors. Bhagavad Gita talks about this as follows. The demigods being pleased by sacrifices will also please you thus nourishing one another there will reign general prosperity for all. This is also the reason as to why Muslims sacrifice animals in Mecca even today. Now, with all this in mind, let's proceed to the Bible passage that talks about Zeus and Hermes. The time period of this event was 45 AD. Apostle Paul, along with his companion Barnabas, was on his first missionary journey through modern-day Turkey, which used to be called Asia Minor in those days one day they were preaching at a city named Lystra while they were preaching there was a lame man from birth seated on the ground listening to Paul with faith in his eyes Paul told the man to stand up on his feet the lame man leaped and started walking on his own the people being amazed by this miracle said that gods have come into their city in human forms they reckoned barnabas as zeus and paul who was the main speaker as hermes because hermes was the god of eloquence the next thing that happened was a priest from the temple of zeus coming there with garlands and music along with a sacrificial bull to be slaughtered in the presence of Paul and Barnabas Paul stopped them telling that they should give up these vain gods and worship only the true god who created heaven and earth so the infuriated crowd stoned Paul and dragged his body outside the city and left him for dead but god revived paul and paul and barnabas did visit lystra one more time before they finally returned to antioch in the mainland where they started their journey well that is zeus and hermes in the bible thanks for watching